Welcome back to Hill Farms. They say when you're faced with a problem, you're forced to innovate. And that's what we're planning on doing today. So here's our problem. We have these big trees, 10, 12, 14 foot trees. They weigh a couple hundred pounds. And in today's world, we're having a hard time finding guys that can handle these trees. So anyone can handle one tree, you know, it's a couple hundred pounds, uh, that's not the problem. But when you have to do this over and over and over again, it becomes a problem. So when you're putting in your house and you're struggling with it, with the one tree that you're putting up, that's one thing. But our guys come here and everything we do is repetition. So we're faced with the problem of having these big heavy trees that we have to figure out a way to get them out of the field and get them onto the truck so they get to the garden center or the tree lot where you're going to purchase them at. So. We did some thinking and we've been talking for some time, how can we solve this problem and make it a little easier? And here's what we came up with. So we borrowed an idea from the forestry industry, forest industry. And what we have is we purchased a grapple. Now, this grapple is meant to be mounted on a truck. So everything we're gonna do here, we have to figure out, as far as I know, it hasn't been done. So this is a, a brand new idea and uh, you know, we're gonna try to fab this up here and, and, uh, and make it work. So what we're going to do is uh, we bought this grapple, uh, brought it up in upstate New York, and it's meant to, to go on the back of a, a logging truck. So we have to figure out a way to mount this on something that we can take out in the field, pick up our trees, and bring them back in. So what we decided we're going to do is we're going to mount this on the back of a hay wagon. We bought a special hay wagon just to put this on. So what we have here, this grapple here is going to reach about 22 feet. Uh, so it has quite a bit of, of uh, reach to get out into our fields and pick up these trees because they're long and they lay in the field and you can't always get right up next to them. So we bought a grapple on the end of it that it's a special grapple and we're hoping that uh, it's close to what we need but we're still going to have to do some modifications to it. So we're going to fab something up here. We're going to smooth this off so that it doesn't crush the tree when we pick it up and so we can pick it up as gentle as possible. Uh, keep in mind these trees are a couple hundred pounds so and they're 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 unwieldy because they're long and they're bulky and, and they're just really difficult to handle. So uh, in the same time, we want to lift these things up without breaking them. So you know, we're hoping we're going to do some modifications to that and this will work fine for that. So this is going to get mounted. Uh, it, it runs off of hydraulics. We're going to uh, run lines up to uh, a tractor. Uh, we're going to mount this on the back of a hay wagon, run the lines up to, uh, to the front, uh, hook onto our tractor, about 110, 120 horsepower tractor. Should be more than enough power for everything we need, enough to handle you know, this equipment. I think we're looking at probably about 1,000 pounds, 1,500 pounds for this piece of, uh, right here, just for that part. Now, there's a mounting bracket that it goes on, and we've got some down riggers so we can stabilize because we're going to be reaching out. We don't want to be tipping over. So this is pretty much the, going to be the workhorse of what we're doing here. Uh, so hopefully uh, there's a ladder because it's going to be up pretty high in the air and uh, uh, it's going to be interesting. So we bought from down in Lancaster from our friends down there, we bought this 12 ton running gear tractor or uh, uh, hay wagon. And what we're going to do, we got dual wheels in the back because we're going to mount the, uh, the, uh, the grapple in the back. Uh, so we got the dual wheels to handle a little more weight back there. We're going to run steel supports in here. The whole undercarriage is going to be built. We're going to fab that up with utilizing uh, all steel uh, because of the weight of the trees and the weight of the grapple. We want to make sure that uh, you know we normally use six by six pressure treated, but we're going to go to uh, you know to the grapple uh, or to the steel rather to uh, uh, give it a little bit more strength. On top of that, we're going to put a, a wood deck because we're trying to keep the weight down a little bit. Even though it's 10, a 12 ton running gear, when you get out in the field, this you know everything starts to twist. Our roads aren't perfect like a highway. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to make sure that uh, you know this thing doesn't uh, you know break when we're when we're transporting it or, or when we're using it. So we'll fab up a frame on here out of steel using channel and and uh, what have you. Uh, we're going to mount the uh, a wood deck on top of that. We're going to put downriggers in the back so it gives us the stability. That's what we have those sitting over there. And uh, then we're going to build specialized bunks on here so that we can place the trees in. Then when we bring them back, we can pick them up uh, with another piece of equipment that we built. And uh, we're hoping that that's going to solve a lot of our problems, make it a lot easier for us to get these trees out of the field. Uh, our men won't have to work as hard, so they'll appreciate that. And uh, hopefully the trees will be in really good condition so that when uh, the consumer gets them at home, uh, he's going to, uh, he and she will look at them and say, uh, boy, you know, these trees are in great shape. And uh, I wonder how those guys got those big heavy trees out of the field. So we're going to start building this. Uh, 
and from here uh, we'll show you some of the things that we're going to have to do and the final product and uh, and hopefully it turns out like we hoped it it's going to turn out if it doesn't we've got a torch we'll cut and burn and uh, and rebuild it and uh, until we get it right all right so check back with us later on